It is early, 878, around May, and Alfred has emerged from the forests with his army. The Danes have already been invading England for many years, have defeated Northumbria, East Anglia, and Mercia has since collapsed four years prior. Alfred, having been sort of forced into the forests and swamps of Somerset, has finally decided to make his final stand, and Wessex stands on a knife edge. He rallies his forces. Uh, after sheltering in the forest with a couple of his uh, nobles, who he's brought with him today to this battle, he has cooled the fjords of the surrounding countryside, and the men have answered the call. They have vest arras arrays of some levy spearmen ready to now stand with Alfred against the Danish invaders, who have formed up at the Battle of Edlington. You can see we've got vast arrays of spearmen here today. On the Danish side, uh, led by Guthrum, with the intent of absolutely finally crushing Alfred and the main Wessex army once and for all, and actually defeating the last kingdom, uh, we have the Vikings, ready with their long axemen, um, sort of assorted spearmen, we've got some Huskars here with their big long axes, heavy in chainmail, going to do a lot of damage in today's battle. So let's get things rolling. Alfred rallied his, most of his forces using um, scouts, cavalry mounted scouts and some of these returned to the battle today, hopefully maybe able to land a little bit of a hand with the upcoming engagement. Not particularly heavy cavalry, only just very light forces, that's all he had available to him at the time. Alfred has placed some of his more elite units, um, sort of his thanes and huskars on the flanks to try and stop them from completely collapsing, maybe able to roll the Danish flanks round. We push through on the left and the right, the quality units on each side of the flank. But the most bulk of this battle is going to be fought by the levy spearmen, because all the fjords have been rallied from their farms. Fighting today's battle, how good are these troops going to be? Are they really going to be able to hold their own very much? Or are they going to be out at the first sign of trouble? Like, frankly, like most of the uh, Wessex troops have done in previous battles. Advancing spears at the ready. Alfred has access to a couple of our units of archers as well. They will come up and rain down a couple of arrow death on some of the uh, Danish armies as we start to get closer. And Alfred himself with his loyal bodyguards trying to keep him alive. Swords and shields at the ready. The two armies get closer and closer together. A little bit of a disarray in the Alfred's battle line. They try and circumnavigate some of the rocks and things that are located around this hill. Danish army looking pretty fearsome here in the centre, particularly with these heavy Huskars. It's kind of a different approach, it looks like uh, Alfred's placed his better troops sort of around on the flanks to try and roll the flanks, whereas the Danish will put their best troops in the centre and they'll try and punch through the centre, punch through these levies in the middle. Can't imagine these spear levies, the farmers are going to hold out for very long against these sort of battle hardened, more experienced axemen. It's like being uh, Guthrum converted to Christianity relatively early on, you can see some of the Vikings and the Danish here are actually wearing crosses, which is kind of cool. Few of them are Christians themselves. The Danish army is moving up to meet the invaders. As the archers move forward to get into a skirmish position, although they're not going to be able to get very many shots off if the Danish are going to come and meet their foes. First of volleys of arrows are off and the battle has begun. Already some casualties. The Danish are sending up their skirmish lines. Oh dear. That man got thoroughly peppered with arrows. The two lines are in a meeting engagement now. Oh, more missiles are coming in. Oh dear. People getting struck, thinning out the throngs of missile infantry. Oh, are they going to fire? No, nope, they're hesitating. Oh, there they are. Arrows away. The Danish, I think they're realising they're kind of outnumbered on the arrow point of view, look like to be making their move. These archers are going to be wanting to get out of here sooner or later if they're not careful. 
They're literally in the middle of the ground. Danish dead. Yep, the archers are making their move. They're pulling back behind the friendly lines. Our Hoskels and the Royal Thanes have got their shields up to protect themselves from the arrow fire. So the Fjords are going to be facing the wrath of the Viking charge. Brace yourselves, lads. Oh dear, and the battle has begun all across the front line. Seems to have broken down into sort of, sort of a series of itty bitty battles. I think Alfred's forces probably outnumber the Danish in this battle. Um, but the Danish probably have a higher quality of troop. But this is where, Dan uh, where Alfred's plan may come into effect. He's sending some of his more veteranised royal thanes around the flanks to try and roll these Viking armies on the left and the right flanks. And these much more experienced and battle hardened troops may be able to make the best of this, which is what they are definitely trying to do. Absolutely slaughtering some of the Danish spearmen on the flanks. Oh, but the, the Vikings are straight through in the centre. They've just cut straight through Alfred's spear walls and he's had to send in some of his more elite units to try and plug the gap. Look at these, the Danish Huskars are doing a good job of cutting down these enemy spearmen. But now, a much more elite. Uh, spears are coming in, Alfred committing his elite troops in the centre try and drive them back. I think he's having some successes on the flanks already. So it's like it could be quite a short battle for Alfred. Look at that, the enemy is in the rat and being chased by Alfred's forces from the battle. And Alfred still has a couple of units in reserve and is not actually yet been committed to the battle himself. Oh, his final reserves are going in to try and hold the line here in the centre where the bulk of the enemy forces are. They're pushing hard, really trying to push their way through the lines. Oh, is that some of Guthrum's forces retreating? No, they are holding the line still. A lot of success going on on the flanks here by the looks of it, where Guthrum's forces have been driven off by Alfred. This is turning into a very short battle for Guthrum. It's gone pretty badly wrong. I think the Vikings often had a lot of success routing, the, routing Alfred's uh, fjords very early on in the battle, but as it's getting into sort of a much longer battle, things aren't going quite so well for him. They're starting to struggle. Oh, <laughs> that was a good move by that spearman. Well done, man. The Danish army is retreating across the board by the looks of it. Allowing our archers to get some clean shots on the enemy as they retreat. Firing over the heads of Alfred. A bit unfortunate if they managed to hit Alfred. <laughs> and looks like the bulk of the Danish army is now in full retreat. And Alfred's forces are in pursuit. A couple of pockets of resistance still ongoing. Some of the Danish axemen fighting off against the Fjord spearmen. Oh, some of Alfred's troops are retreating. And not unsurprisingly, fighting some of the heavy, uh, armoured, experienced Danish troops in the Puyo Fjords don't really stand that much of a chance. Or so it looks like they've just got out of combat and have re ratted they were to shame themselves too much in front of Alfred. Oh, it looks like Alfred himself might be coming to get stuck in on this battle. He just rallied the fjords and they're coming back. Alfred's elite troops coming to get stuck in against these enemy units. Oh, they are now absolutely surrounded. I can't imagine they're going to hold their ground for too much longer. And arrows slamming in. Oh, and they've gone. They have broken. That signified probably the end of enemy resistance. It is chaos as troops are sort of milling around everywhere. Oh, some of the light cavalry have got involved. After having rallied the army by sending messengers around all the farms and the local fjords, rallying the troops, they are now chasing down some of the enemy retreating axemen, pinning in them in place as they can turn up to finish them off. Which troops chasing uh, the Danish army and the Axemen killing them down for trying to pin them into this battle and it has been a glorious success for Alfred and a pretty critical and decisive victory for the Kingdom of Wessex.
So hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's perhaps a little excessively dramatic in places. Um, it's a little bit of a different style of recording for me. Um, I try to be perhaps a little bit different. Um, probably it's a little ahistorical. It's obviously based on the Battle of Edrington, um, which is obviously a real battle. You can look it up. I'll post a link uh, to some information on the battle, which is pretty cool. But yeah, hopefully you found it slightly interesting. If you did, please give the video a like. Let me know what you think about this sort of type of recording. Perhaps a little bit different to what I'm normally doing on Arena. It's certainly not going to be the main type of video on my channel, but I kind of enjoyed doing it. So if you liked it, let me know, and I'd love to be able to do more of them. Um, yeah, please subscribe to the channel for much more Total War content. And thanks, guys. I shall see you all on the next video.